Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Welcome to episode 20 of Geo Fatboy's Everyday Shave. Remember a little while back when I told you that the Henson AL13 razor was only available in mild and medium? Well, if I told you that now, I'd be. R r r r I, sorry, I just can't say it. Remember that one episode of Happy Days? Fonzie couldn't say it either. <laughs> you just can't say that word. The Henson AL13 is now available in an aggressive version. 1+, plus, 2+, plus, 3+, plus. triple plus means aggressive. Here's a look at it. They call it gray, but to me, kind of looks like a light blue, possibly almost a gunmetal, but not exactly, pretty close. T depends on what angle you look at it. It seems more blue, black, gray, silver, hard to tell. Depends on your lighting as well. Anyway, it's the same AL13, but this is the newest version. It's got the handle, which is a little bit thicker, a tad heavier. It's got the beveled or chamfered edges, and there's also some changes to the inside of the top cap so that it rinses out easier. Three pluses on the underside of the top cap, three pluses on the top of the safety bar. That means it's the aggressive version. Three-piece razor. Let's reassemble it real quick. Well, heck, let's put the blade in right now. If you get it from Shave Nation, it comes with a five-pack of RK blades right there. But for today's shave, since I have a good two, two-day plus, if I said two, I might be fibbing a little bit. Kind of reminds me of uh, back when I was an electrician, Chicago Electrical Code, Section 87.110.5. All work shall be performed in a neat and workmanlike manner. <laughs> and we'd be installing light fixtures. Sometimes the fixtures would come with the whips pre-installed. The whip is the, the flexible metallic tubing that comes on the fixture, or sometimes it would come separately. Usually if it came on the fixture, the wires were already in it. If it comes separately, you put your own wires in it. This one coworker of mine, Rich, he used to say, when we're up in the ceiling installing the fixtures, you drop the two by four lay-in fixture in the ceiling, and then you bring the whip over to the box to connect it, and it was a little bit short. Well, the whips weren't supposed to be longer than six feet, according to, again, Chicago Electrical Code. So Richie would say, yo, Gio, give me a long six-foot whip. <laughs> so you know what that meant, seven, eight, whatever. So there you go. Did I succumb? Did I supply? Move the box. <laughs> if I told you I had one day beard growth, I'd be fibbing. That's what that story goes back to. I digress right there, but I've been told that some people like when I digress, and I'm sure there's others who do not. Because what? Because you can't please everybody all the time. All right, back to the razor. Let's install our blade. I'm not going to use the RK blade that comes with it. I'm not going to use this one. This is made in India. I'm not using that. I'm using the feather, which is, in my opinion, the sharpest blade out there. So here it is in the paper. Let's remove it. That's what it looks like out of the paper. Drop it right over the post and the two slots right there. Those slots will align with the safety bar perfectly, just like that. See that silver ring in there? That's a bit of reinforcement so that when you screw the handle on, so it doesn't deteriorate the bottom portion of the base plate right there. So here's the top of the razor. It's a beautiful bluish gray color. On the underside, no markings. On the top, no markings, just smooth aluminum finish. And then this top band right here, it does say HS running around there. And then there's vertical lines, bands. These are designed to give you a better grip. And it does work, you can feel it. Pretty easy to grip this. And the handle starts out narrow and it tapers wider as you get to the bottom. The very bottom of the handle, just polished very nicely. All right, I'll perform a shave with this razor today. You can see the reveal of that blade. It's perfectly even on both sides. Also, there is no blade overhang. You can go like this on both sides. No blade overhang whatsoever on this razor, the AL13. The specs on this particular razor, the new version, it weighs in at 1.3 ounces or 37 grams. And the overall length from top to bottom is 4.1 inches or 104 millimeters. All right. Here we go. The shaving soap I'll be using today, Sterling Soap Island Man. We just got a bunch of these in stock, all different scents, so check them out. 
This scent in particular, an intoxicating blend of bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, jasmine, hibiscus, lang lang, ginger, sugarcane, musk, and rum. The Island Man only makes his appearance during the summer season. So get yours while it lasts. There it is. Check it out. Cool thing about it. Guess what? It's blue. That's right. It's blue. So we're going to mix that up in the Shave Nation bowl. We're going with pink today. And this bowl comes in black, white, red, blue, pink, yellow, and green. So choose the color that suits you. Lather spot down at the bottom. Let's warm it up with hot water. It's ceramic, so it will retain some heat. I'm going to take my little baby scoop spoon. I'm going to scoop out some of this Island Man. About that much. Looks like a, one of those thumbnail slivers you pull off your pomade. Let's drop that right down. It's like a little caterpillar right there. Drop it right down into the lather spot. There it is. Let's take our brush, the Shave Nation G5 synthetic brush. Black bristles, black handle. Give it a good soak under the hot water. Go right in here. Commence to lathering. Let's see if we can mix a lather. There we go. Didn't take very long. There's a clump of shaving cream down there at the bottom. So you just keep pressing the tips of the brush into that clump and just keep swirling. Mm, that smells great. Swirl it around till the bowl fills up. And it's a bit sudsy right now, but the more you swirl, the thicker it gets. I haven't even added any water. I don't think I need to add any water. It is, look at that. It's just a nice, nice thick lather. There we go. Still got a little bit of blue down there at the bottom in the lather spot. Plenty of lather for several passes right there. But if you want to keep going, you get thicker and thicker, more lather. Look at that. The bowl is filled. The brush is filled. Perfect. Let's set that down. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right. My face is warm, that's for sure. Let's grab our brush and our bowl. Here we go. Start lathering. Start on the right side and work our way across. Dabbing, painting, swirling. Cover all the areas you intend to shave. Drive that lather right into the beard. Soften, hydrate, prepare the beard for the shave ahead. Little figure eight, smooth everything out. The Zen moment of the shave right here. Set the brush down. Swipe the lips. Swipe the neck. Clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go. Henson AL13 aggressive version, three pluses, under the hot water. Wet fingers and all. We'll start on the right side. Cut the sideburn. I can tell you right now with the feather blade in this razor, definitely more aggressive than the other two. Mild or medium. Very comfortable shaving razor. Let's go down the neck. We still have room for some more lather on there. Excellent. Both sides are filled. Let's rinse that. Lots of stubble on there if you could see that. Rinses out super easy, no problem. Left side, cut that sideburn, work your way down.
flip it over. This part right here, right there, might have been left over from my last shave, which I didn't see it. You guys saw it. All right, both sides are filled. Rinse. It does rinse out super easy. All right, under the mustache, scoop right under. The way this is shaped with that angle on the head, super easy to get right under the nose. It fits right in there. And keep in mind, if you had to, you can always push your nose up and out of the way and get in there. Some other razors, not this one. You don't need to do that with this one. Okay, first pass complete. Let's rinse it. There's a lot of stubble in the bottom of the sink, that's for sure. A quick face rinse. One pass. I went from two days to pretty smooth right there. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn smooth. Check it. No cuts, no nicks, nothing. Let's lather up for another pass. Why? Because we can. How does uh, Conor McGregor say it? He adds an expletive, but I don't think I'll do that right here. <laughs> it's a family channel. Kids might be watching. Swipe, swipe, clear the runways. All right, first pass was with the grain, north to south. Now we'll go across the grain. Very comfortable shaving razor. Just glides right over that shaving cream. I also think we get a little more audible feedback with this razor as well. Let's rinse it. Now against the grain on the neck. Clean out that cleft. Across the mustache. Excellent. Rinse that. Face rinse. Feel around. If you're nice and smooth, you can stop right there. Some people can do it in one pass, some two. If you have a wedding where there's a lot of uh, hugging and kissing going on, because, you know, COVID's over now, right? Ha ha. <laughs> so we're getting out and about again, seeing more people, getting back to the way things were. We're going to skim the skin, not scrape, but skim, the skim coat. Just find that sweet spot, right where it catches, right there. This is what gets you baby smooth. Excellent. Beautiful. Now that's... That's a smooth shave right there. Okay, let's rinse everything. Nice cold water rinse. Finish the shave. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block. Glide that all around the areas you've shaved. Excellent finish to the shave. Seals off any little nicks or weepers if you got any. Tightens the skin. 
Feels great going on. Nice and cool. Recap it, set that down. Then let that soak into your skin for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Since we use that blue shaving cream, Island Man, we're gonna go with George F. Trump or Sky, also blue, aftershave EDT. It's a sprayer, you can spray it directly on your face or you can spray it into your hands like so. Dab it on like a regular aftershave. Woo! It's got some alcohol. Definitely a sting. Nice benefit right there. Dries quickly. You can always take your little barber towel and speed it up, but this just feels good. Once you put the alcohol, slap it on, and then a little air dry, feels great. All right, a final look at the razor, the Henson AL13 Aggressive Plus Plus Plus. Loaded with the feather, high stainless blade. In my opinion, the sharpest blade out there. That even cranks it up a notch. So if you want it less aggressive, try a different blade. Use the RK blade it comes with, but the feather will definitely get you to the top of the aggressive scale with this razor. Feels great in the hand, long enough to drop in the palm and spin around, nice and easy. The angling on the head, the way it rinses out, super easy, easy to get under the nose. You can shave with, across, against the grain, no problem whatsoever. Very comfortable shaving razor. In my opinion of the three for me, this is the best one. This is the one I would go with. The mild and medium, a little too mild for me, but this one really got the job done. Two and a half passes, I went from a, a heavy two day, maybe three day, maybe the way I was fibbing about the long six foot whip, the electrical story, that's the correlation right there. So anyway, very nice razor, comfortable in the hand. If you wanna pick this razor up or the mild or medium or titanium, any of these other items, the Sterling Island Man Shaving Cream, beautiful blue color, and lathered up nice and easy, nice cushion for the blade to ride across, and the scent, fantastic, very good. Shave Nation Bowl, pick any color you want. The Shave Nation Synthetic G5 Brush, no problem, lathering up. Just click down below the video where it says show more, you can grab them right there, or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, shaving and more, greatly appreciated. There's almost 500 videos now, so you can keep yourself busy watching them for sure. Definitely put yourself to sleep at night. Some people do. <laughs> they tell me they do. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh. Looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.